All right, I got this Fibro Heat FH270 pool heater. Um, got it all hooked up to this pool over here with the uh, Aqua Strong three quarter horsepower pump. So I had to dig this trench. I ran the inlet and the outlet. So the inlet comes in here into the pump and then out this way. It comes out here. We have the track valve here so that the chemicals don't leach back uh, into the heater. Uh, I got the Hayward chlorine dispenser here. And then I got the return. Now, you're gonna wanna get these, uh, these shutout valves. And what this does is it'll allow me to bypass the heater if I ever need to. So I just open that and close these. And then I'm bypassing the heater. Or if I just want to open it up here a little bit, you could do that too. I um, also have the waste here running right into this downspout. And then I had to have an electrician put all this in 240 volt. That's that. Oh yeah, and I put these shutout valves here and here too, so that I could uh, just turn it off and do maintenance or change the, uh, empty the basket there, do whatever, not have to worry about putting plugs in over here. And so both the inlet and the outlet are running this way. This is the uh, inlet to the pump, and that's the return. And I got the skimmer here. And it seems to be working pretty good. It's quite a bit of work, especially since this is my first time doing anything like this. So I had to get research from a lot of uh, multiple sources, so I was hoping I could just kind of help some people out with the whole process. Um, one thing, I kind of was confused about the panel here, and all you got to do is push up or down to set the temperature and then hit power that's it and then you uh, see the sun make sure it's got that sun see that the M selects and then you can turn it on or off there like I said all you do is hit the up or down to set the temperature, hit power, and you're good to go. If no water's flowing through this, it, it shuts off almost instantly. So, let's start the pump. Good about. Five, ten seconds.
Any second now, here it is. It's the fan. And then you'll hear the compressor kick in here in a couple seconds. It's not that, it's, it's pretty quiet actually. There's the compressor. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, just let me know.